All right, so let's go ahead and get this get this going. Um, might be a good idea. Just trying to see what's cool. Get the more orbs. Nah, nah. Let's go with the greater length, though. That's cool. Let's go with this. Um, and that's good. Alright. Let's go ahead. Get on. Okay. So now we have these new enemies called Mephistos. They can be kind of annoying. Long range enemies. Uh, your goal is if I can knock them out of it. Well then, I don't even have to. I can just kill them with the long range. Basically, your goal while playing as any other character, except for, I guess, Lady, is that you're supposed to knock them out of, uh, knock this black mist they're in off of them, and it'll make it so, uh, they, they're basically just like the skinny little reptile thing. And they're basically defenseless without this black coat. So with any other character, your job is to knock him out of it. So if you're playing as Dante, you'd hit them with the shotgun. If you're playing as Nero, you'd constantly just hit them with Devil Bringer attacks. So. I know, like, whenever I say, like, Devil Bringer attacks, you're like, the fuck is it? What is this? Yeah, I know. I think I'll make, like, a... I think I'll eventually just, like, do a random video of just me playing Bloody Palace with a bunch of characters. See how far I can get. So, yeah. That would be cool. Oh, yeah, and then also, just so you guys know, there is a secret mission right down here. Pointless for me to do it. I've already done it, and it's freaking hard as me. Uh, I think your goal is basically just to make... Uh, uh, you have to raise your style ranking to a B without moving, doing a single attack, which is, trust me, pretty damn hard. Unless you know exactly how to do it. Which... I'd recommend only doing it with freaking with uh Haha, <laughs> stop your attack. I recommend only doing it with Nero once you've gotten a particular attack. Yeah. Stop it. Can you die yet? Now but now. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I also believe that there is... Secret mission right here. I don't know what it... I don't, let's see what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, you're supposed to... Uh, uh, you're supposed to knock the gyro blades. Jiro, whatever you want to call them supposed to just knock them around uh, the big long hallway and destroy five of the um, tower slash big yeah it's five of the tower things that are lying around oh that was a bit of lag but nothing bad nothing like it was barely noticeable honestly goodbye all right break that tower Whee! Whee! And we continue to fall. Boop! Now we're here. Light them all on fire. I think my freaking... Ow! That's not nice. Yeah, see, that's what they look like without their, uh... Without their cloak. And your, your job is basically to knock them out of it while you're playing as the other characters, but as you can see for me, I don't really need to. It just helps. Boop! Cool. And I get a green ult. Now I can grab this item, which now allows me to jump on those things. Those things have appeared in quite a few games. 
I think ever since two. But now I can jump on them to go up here. And there's a bunch of these little drop-off points right here, which right here is just, yeah, that. Oh, fuck. I, did, I jumped too far off the edge. We'll just keep bouncing up here. Oh, oh yeah. This is here. So just gonna kind of... Fully automatic shotgun. Standard issue. Fully automatic double barreled shotgun. That's awesome. Just keep bouncing up here. Grab all these red orbs. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah. And now we get back up here. Now we jump up here. Get back to the torture chamber. Let's stop that guy's attack in midair. Ooh. No. That was awesome. No. Get that out. Bad. Ooh. Get out. No. This is a bad, the bad big black thing. Bad Mephisto. It's too bad the the red orbs got into the wall. Yes, physical attacks can hurt it while you're in the air. It just don't do as much damage. No. Cut that out. Now let's get the freak out of here. I run fast. That's a cool thing about, um, it's weird how Devil May Cry 1, you walked, you ran kind of slowly for how some, well, honestly, you kind of ran the same speed as most games that Capcom have made. If you notice that, well, some of them, I should say, not all of them. Stop it. Oh, God. Is that unconventional? That's a really good way to clear that out. Hold these for me. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. This is quoted Mark Flair. Um, continue on. <laughs> Continuing. Uh, what was I gonna say? Red orbs! It's always good to collect these, because you can you never know. Like, you collect these, and, like, you can get, like, all your, uh, per blue and purple orbs. Like, just so you guys know, like, how I... I got all my blue and purple orbs, at least the ones you can buy from the store, in my first playthrough, because after every mission, I would buy one of them. Let's break this. Yeah, after each mission, I would break one of them. And then eventually, I ended up getting all of them before the end of the game. And then I can just buy them. Way! Yay for breaking stuff! Cool. Let's go, go in here. Way! Keep going on. Uh, if you... Oh, wait. Never mind. I was going to say something, but it doesn't matter because there's a... This one's over. Uh, dude, looks like there's something wrong with your, your, your body. It looks like there's a giant hole in it. You know. Just saying. Yes. Alright. Uh, let's see what else is a good idea. Thank you. 
What else is... Let's buy this. That sounds cool. That's cool. Um, let's go to that. That sounds cool. Toss a handful of grenades. That's cool. Let's go ahead and go with that. And we'll just continue on. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, over... Uh, if you were to run over here, there would be a blue orb fragment right over here. I believe. In that exact spot. It might not be in the exact spot. It might be around... We... Might be in a slightly different spot, but... That is a Trish one, so you can't break that. If you really want to break all of these in your first go-through, play as Virgil, because he had... Well, not really. Don't play as Virgil in your first go-through. Because it's not as fun. It's interesting to... It's cool to play as... Hero and Dante, because you're going to get the story and everything. Also, I just noticed... Wait... Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ow. Still got me. Ow. We're gonna jump out of the walls. Yep. Ooh. Ah, oh, god damn it. I hate that. Kill that one. You don't get up. You stay on the ground. Okay? They have so much longer of a range than you think they do in there. You get out of there. Aha. That's cool. Why did it split in half from a grenade? Oh, whatever. We'll just continue on. Oh, yeah, this mission has one of those things I hate in this game. Because it's so freaking annoying at times. And what I'm talking about is it as a game board. That's not creepy at all. Oh, hey, it's wearing the sa it has the same outfit on as me. Yeah, it's wearing the same outfit as I'm currently wearing. Still the rocket launcher. But yeah. However many spaces are on the die, you move forward that many spaces. And we have yet you have yet to see why this board can be so annoying. Let's hit it again. Just for... Sweet. I don't know where that'll land me, but... If it lands on the yellow, like this yellow, it would teleport me to this one. Here. Uh, let's say I got a two, so I move one, two, and as soon as I get here, I get to move here. But let's say I got like a three, so one, two, three. Then I got a four, so one, two, three, four. I'd move back here. And it gets freaking annoying. So... So there we go. Three. Four, five, sweet! Boost up. See, that's what I'm talking about. But if you happen to land on the space that it would teleport you, it'll teleport you back. Give me a one. Okay, whatever. Oh, wait, shit, wait, wait, never mind. It's all good. If I get a one, it'll be annoying. Oh, yeah. One of the red, some of the red ones mean you have to dodge lasers for a little bit. It's not that big a deal. If you have speed, it's nothing at all. And if you don't have speed, it's st you can still pretty much run out of it. I jump past it. I think. But yeah. I was playing this level earlier today as Nero, and I kept landing fucking on this one and this one, and I kept landing back. Like, I'd get... I'd be here, then I'd move one. Ow. I don't know, I'm dumb. I'd move one, so I'd get right here, and then I'd move, like, one, two, three, and then I'd land back on this one, and then repeat the process over and over again. Alright, so I didn't land on the one, so I'll just have to fight some more enemies. Well, not enemies, but dodge lasers. Because there are certain ones that if you land on them, enemies will spawn, but it seems that they really just want lasers for me right now, so I'll just dodge the lasers. 
grab that red orb. You can actually move outside of this area while you're uh, normally doing this, but... Circles, dodge and la Circles, dodge and lasers! I was wondering when I was going to get hit, and I was like, come on. You really s this sucky? Okay, so if I get one, two, three, four or higher, I win. Nope, never mind, I'm not going to get a four or higher. At least I'm not going to get anything right now. The blue ones give you orbs and green orbs. Oh, sweet, a perfect. Yeah, the blue ones give you orbs and, and green orbs. Or it can potentially give you, um... That one thing. Chests that have items in them. When you break the one that doesn't have anything in it, uh, then... Let me turn on the light. Uh, when you get the one that doesn't have anything in it, then uh, all the rest of the chests go away. If you're playing as Virgil, it's completely cheap because you can do his dash attack and you break all of them. So, that dude's in there. Let's get in there. Ow, man. That is electrifying blast. If you're up close and trying to melee him, which you can do, um, that electrifying blast will hit you because it covered you. Yeah, see, it, it can be really annoying. Virgil, it's actually pretty easy to kill all these things because he just starts dashing around and shit. Ow. Ow. Wait for it, I think I have an idea. Damn! Talk about getting fucked! This is just like a simula simulation? But you know, I would, be, I would be here instead of someone else. Before I Fucker. 
break in your window. There we go. And I win the fight. That was cool. And I can freely just go in between here. Oh, good, because I don't know if red orbs are in here. So, yeah. Story plot here, moment here. So. Yeah. Red orbs. Mine. Seems to be like practically every level from here now, now on, almost, except for a couple levels, has a boss fight now. From, yeah, probably the, there's only like a couple levels in the entire game. I don't, you can consider the first, either Mysterious Stranger, you can consider the first Mysterious Stranger or Dante fight to be a boss battle if you want, because he has a health bar, but honestly, he's one of the easiest He's the easiest, like, to me he seems more of a sub-boss, because he's so easy. No! Blocks the first uh, rocket. Can't block a second. Let's continue on. So this is where they're making the uh, night. I believe that is actually if it's not a regular knight's armor. I think I might know whose armor that is. Also, yeah, they're capturing the souls of demons, but they're also capturing the soul of their own people to put them into the suits. So they can control them. Okay, yeah, it's just a regular old suit. In there. I thought it might be actually a important figure like Raider's armor, but it's not. Boop boop. Haha! -ha. Didn't think that was coming. Get some red orbs that are right over here. I've played this game so much, or I've played Dummy Cry 4 so much that a lot of the item locations are just memorized in my head. I don't know all of the uh, reward fragment locations off the top of my head. Cut it out! Hold those for me. Expect that one, huh? And now we press this button, and now we go there, and now we can go here. Whee! Bouncing! Woohoo! Yay! Yippee! Woohoo! Jump over a pipe. Mission successful. Da 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 da. That's got to be a VR mission in a Metal Gear Solid game. Jump over a pipe. There's no jump button. Exactly. Got to figure it out using your mind. Now we're uh, our objective right now is to get the freak out of this uh, this castle. Charge up. Charge up. Goodbye. Damn. No. Wow! That does so much damage. I didn't even think it'd do that much damage just to insta-kill them. Wow. 
Stop it. All right. Well, let's just continue on our way. Okay, get the freak out of this place. There's some freaky dig shit going on here. And now, we shall be heading this way. Whee! What's going on? Is the cave going to collapse? Oh, okay, that's what happened. Why does it have to be that convenient? Just like, it's so convenient that... Oh, okay, alright then, just going to cover it up so I can't go back? Thanks a lot. Let's see if it says anything. Nope, just... Wait. Am I shooting and there's dust particles coming off of water? This game is great. I love this. Fucking awesome, man. Is that light? I can see light. Must go towards the light. Because I am full on sprinting towards it. What's those trees? This is a fucking forest? Why is there a forest behind him? Okay. So, we got a castle with snow around it. And we have a, on a, a mountain. And all of a sudden, we got a forest. Like, we had a mountain with a giant river on top of it. We didn't walk that far. Why is there a fucking freaking... There's a there's a forest! The fuck? I just... Okay, whatever. It's, I'll accept it. I'll accept it. This is how, this is how it's going to work? Alright. Well then. That's how this is going to work. <laughs>